हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ओम सर्स एकेडमी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न क्लास टेन्थ मैथ्स चैप्टर वन रियल नंबर्स पार्ट वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू रियल नंबर्स एंड यूक्लिड्स डिविजन लेमा एंड यूक्लिड्स डिविजन अल्गोरिदम हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ओम सर्स एकेडमी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट क्लास टेन्थ फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज रियल नंबर्स सो फ्रेंड्स we have already learned class 9 number system the first chapter okay this chapter is the extension of that chapter so for that you should know uh, what are the real numbers well, let us revise it in short the real numbers are those numbers real numbers are those numbers which are called as rational plus irrational this is the combination of all rational as well as all irrational numbers forms the real numbers now friends we have already learned in class 9 that what is a rational number that rational number is those number which satisfies three conditions first second and third first condition is they are always in p by q form p is my numerator q is my denominator right secondly p and q are integers p and q should be the integers and last one that is q should not be equal to 0 if all these three conditions satisfies then we say that the number is rational number and if any of these three condition does not satisfy then we say that the number is an irrational number so hope it is clear friends so what are rational numbers we have already learned that 0 upon 5 is a rational why because q is not equal to 0 over here see these are in p by q form right p and q p and q are integer 0 is also integer 5 is also integer and q is not equal to 0 so this all three condition satisfies so it is a rational number minus 3 upon 8 is also a rational number right friends but we say 8 upon 0 is not a rational number why because the denominator q is zero over here and the third condition does not satisfy so it is not a rational number what are irrational numbers irrational numbers are those which does not satisfy this condition say root 2 root 3 root 5 root 7 are called as irrational number etc etc the numbers whose perfect root we cannot take it out are known as a irrational number or we cannot represent them in p by q form are called as irrational number so hope this is clear friends now in this chapter we are going to learn the detail about euclid's division lemma and algorithm so friends what does the euclid's division lemma and algorithm says that if any positive integer a is divided by say if any integer any positive integer a is divided by any positive integer b is it clear then we get the remainder that is the r okay which should be lesser than b is it clear which should be lesser than this second positive integer this concept we are going to uh, apply over here in this chapter and uh, through that concept only we are going to find the hcfs of two positive integer is it clear friends so hope we can proceed further so friends in class 9 we have already learned long division method right and the polynomials we were utilizing the long division method so on that basis only this concept came i am writing the concept over here Euclid's division algorithm Euclid's division algorithm as the name suggests has to do with the divisibility of the integers as the name suggests has to do with divisibility of integers Is it clear? It has. It is related with the divisibility of integers. Stated simply, it says that 
it says that as i mentioned to you that any positive integer a any positive integer a which when divided by another positive integer b which when divided by another positive integer b okay so if a is any positive integer and it is divided by any positive integer b then it leaves a remainder then it leaves a remainder r remainder will be in terms of r that is smaller than b that is smaller than b okay so this is the thing for example so friends let us say for example if any integer a we take it as 12 and b we take it as 5 right so if we divide this 12 a by 5 then what is the quotient five twos are 10 it will be and what will be the remainder this is my quotient is it clear this is my dividend this is my divisor okay and this is my remainder so what was my a a was my dividend okay what was my b b was my divisor so according to this concept if i say that any positive integer that is 12 a that is divided by any other positive integer that is 5 that is divisor b then we get a remainder what the remainder is 2 which is smaller than b so which is smaller than your divisor b right so 2 is smaller than 5 is it clear so on this basis this concepts works so hope this is clear friends now moving to further this concept we will be utilizing in finding the hcf of positive integers okay friends so let us move further and learn the next part so we are going to learn about euclid's division algorithm and another is euclid's division lemma okay euclid was one of the mathematician and we want to learn that what is the meaning of algorithm and lemma okay friends so what is an algorithm algorithm is a series of well defined steps which gives a procedure for solving the type of problem algorithm is a series of well defined steps systematically well defined steps comma which gives you this gives you a procedure for solving a type of problem a procedure or process for solving a type of a problem type of a problem so friends this algorithm word came from the 9th century persian mathematician this word came from came on from 9th century okay this is the basics this are uh, asked in your objective part 9th century persian mathematician he was a persian mathematician who gave this word algorithm his name was al khwarizmi his name was al khwarizmi okay it's khwarizmi sorry khwarizmi this is asked in your objective part friends okay and the word algebra algebra we have already learned in class 9 okay so algebra is derived from his book 
He has written a book. Who Al Khwarizmi, a Persian mathematician, wrote a book. From that, the word uh, algebra came. Which book he wrote? It, the name of the book is Hisa Al Zabr Wal Mukabla. This book he wrote Hisa Al Zabr Wal Mukabla. This was the book written by the Persian mathematician Al Khwarizmi. From that book, this word algebra came. So hope you are clear with the meaning of algorithm. What is algorithm? It is nothing but a series of well-defined steps. Okay, one by one, it is a series of well-defined steps which gives you a procedure or process for solving a type of a problem. If you want to solve any type of a problem, then the series of well-defined steps that gives you the process to solve how the problem will be solved is called as what algorithm. So hope this is clear friends. Now we learn the next term that is what is meaning of lemma. We are taking here Euclid's division lemma. So lemma is nothing but it is a proven statement. It is a proven statement used for proving another statement. Used for proving another statement. Okay. If there is one proven statement and that is utilized for proving another statement, then that proven statement is known as what? Lemma. Is it clear friends? So hope this is clear over here what is meaning of algorithm and what is the meaning of lemma. And from where this algorithm came? The word came from 9th century. A Persian mathematician named Al Khwarizmi, he wrote a book. Okay. In which book he wrote? Hissa Bal Zabr Bal Mukabla. And that uh, from that book, this uh, term algebra came. Is it clear? And what is lemma? Lemma is a proven statement which is used for proving another statement. So, hope this is clear, friends. Now, these we will be utilizing for finding the axioms. Okay. But before this, we will be learning theorem 1.1 of textbook. We will be learning what? Theorem 1.1. What does this theorem says? It is based on Euclid's division lemma. Euclid's division lemma. Okay? Just now we learned what is meaning of lemma, right? Now, what does this say is that given two integers, given positive integers a and b, positive integers a and b, given positive integers a and b, there exists a unique integer, there exists an unique integer Q and R, Q and R satisfying A equals to, satisfying A equals to BQ plus R, comma, where R is greater than equal to 0 and lesser than B. Is it clear? So this is my theorem 1.1. Okay. So on what basis this works? This theorem says that if you are given any two positive integers A and B, then you will get an unique integer Q that is quotient and R that is remainder. It will satisfy this equation that is A equals to BQ plus R. Okay, this equation came from that same thing which we apply in the long division method that is dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Okay, we have already learned about this in the previous standards. Okay, so here what I am taking as a dividend, dividend I am taking as A, 
and what is divisor? Divisor is my b. So if this is divided by this, this positive integer is divided by divisor, divisor b. Then you get a quotient. Okay. So what is my quotient? B into q is b q. Okay. Plus you get a remainder. That remainder will be what? That will be equal to zero. The remainder may be equal to zero if it is exactly divisible. Then the remainder will be equal to zero. And or lesser than uh, r will be greater than zero or equal to zero and lesser than b. It may be greater than zero or equal to zero and lesser than b. For example, I did it five divided by three. Okay, so this is my a. This is my b. Okay, so, so three ones are three. So what remainder I get? This is my quotient. That is q. And this is my remainder. So remainder in this case is two, which is greater than zero. Is it greater than zero? Yes. Or it is greater than zero and lesser than b. Or it may be equal to zero also if it is exactly divisible. So it is lesser than b. B is what three, and the remainder is lesser than b. That is two. Okay. So on this basis, this theorem works. So we will apply this theorem in the finding of HCFs. Okay, friends. Now moving to the next part of the chapter, that is. Euclid's division algorithm. Okay, so what is Euclid's division algorithm? Euclid's division algorithm. Now, Euclid's division algorithm is a technique to compute HCF of two given positive integers. It is nothing but it is just a technique to compute. HCF of given two positive integers. Okay, so algorithm is nothing but it is just a technique which we utilize to find the HCF of two positive integers. We can take one example of this, right, friends? Now see this algorithm. If we are given that find the HCF of Find the HCF of 455 and 42. Okay, so we are given this question. This is my question that we have to find the HCF of 455 and 42. So here, what is my A and what is my B? Okay, always this this is uh, A and this is B. Okay, then. What will be the answer? I take the greater number as a. So according to that concept of Euclid's division uh, lemma theorem, what was the concept? A equals to b q plus r, where r should be greater than equal to zero and less than b. This was the concept. Okay, friends. So applying this concept over here, I write 455 as a. Okay. And in form of b, I write what 42. Okay, so I have to find the quotient over here plus remainder. Is it clear? So what will be my quotient over here? 42 multiplied by what will be nearer to 455? So according to this, if I do like this way, 42 ones are 42. The remainder is what 3. And if I carry this 5 over here. Okay, so it will be if I put zero over here, then because this thirty-five is lesser than forty-two, so I'll have to put zero over here. Okay, so thirty-five will be the remainder. So what is my quotient over here? Quotient is what ten, and this is my remainder. So what I did is forty-five into ten, that is four twenty plus thirty-five as remainder. Okay. 45 into 10 is 420 plus 35. I add it, I get 455. Okay, this is the remainder in the first step. Now, what is the next step over here? The next step is I have to take this 42 over here and this 35 as b, 42 as a. Now, and I take this remainder 35 as b. Okay, 
in the next step this 42 will become my a and this 35 will become b so it will be 35 into into what plus this okay so 35 into i don't put brackets then you you can also understand 35 ones are 35 right because 35 twos are 70 which will be greater than 42 so 35 ones are 35 plus what will be the remainder over here if i do this divide this 42 by 35 it will be 35 ones are 35 and remainder will be 7 so it is my quotient and this is my remainder so remainder is 7 in the next step what it will be this 35 will become my a and this 7 will become my that remainder will become my b so 7 into 5 7 5 is a 35 it is exactly divisible plus my remainder will be 0 so now friends here what it came remainder it becomes equal to 0 so in these uh, finding HCF uh, method you have to uh, continue this series until and unless you get the last remainder 0 is it clear friends then what is your HCF your HCF over here is this one that is B over here ok or this one HCF over here is this so HCF of 455,35 is 7 this is my answer so friends hope this is clear now this is the method we use Euclid's division algorithm and we find, found out uh, HCF by using this uh, algorithm method. So, hope this is clear friends. We will be solving further sums on basis of this method. Right? So, with this we end today's topic. We will continue our next part in the next video. Thank you. Thank you students for watching this video. To view our more videos, please click on like and subscribe button given below. Thank you.